Well, 400 comics at 250 bucks for the pile. And I gotta say, I did okay. And we don't have like Hulk 181 or nothing in here, but we got some Judge Dredd, the original run in pretty decent shape. Almost the full run. It's missing just a couple. 2000 AD monthly, which is fun. More Judge Dredd. I have a decent collection of gold key comics from this run. Tom and Jerry. Um, Donald Duck. Lost in Space. Usually when I find these, they're in jacked up condition. But these, you know, some of these are, you know, mid-grade, which is interesting. The Whitman variant. The Occult Files of Dr. S Spectre. That looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, and Robot Fighter number four. Good run of gold key. Flintstones, nice copy. Usually these things are jacked when I get them. Like just red to tatters. Edgar Rice Burroughs, son of Tarzan. What? This person was a, a Tarzan collector. Or Magnus Robot. There's a good run of... It, it's just an eclectic hodgepodge of different stuff. Space Adventures, number 10. Can't really get a pulse on how this person um, collected. There's some runs, but most of it is just like random titles. Like, oh, I liked Abbott and Costello. I'll read Flash Gordon. 12 cent cover. Nice, nice book. Charlton Comics. Ghost Manor, number one. Hey, you know, none, none of this stuff is... Um, the Peacemaker, number four. None of this stuff is, like, groundbreaking books, but for 64, 62 cents a copy, Amazing Heroes, that's a fan of graphics. It's a Swamp Thing cover. Got some Archie. Just, just a little hodgepodge of Archie here. Joke books. Archie joke book. You know, not in any condition, but... You know, stuff like that goes for 20 bucks. 10, 20 bucks. Black and white comics. I love this. The Grendel, number one. I got two copies of that. Comico. I don't know if you've ever read any Grendel, but it's pretty fun. Well, another more indie books, B-movie comic, Captain Daring. Tell me that ain't fun. So, you know, we've got some random publisher stuff that I gotta admit I've never heard of. And then there's an 80s Claremont X-Men run starting right around, well, I think it goes back a little more, so. 198, 229, I, have, I already have all these, I'm gonna be selling them. 175. Can't figure out if I'm going to do it in a lot or individually, but probably all at one. There's a key. There's the first um, Black Queen. No, what's her name? Madeline Pryor. Um, Man Thing. Number 10. Spider Man and Nighthawk. Marvel Team Up 101. Spider-Woman, 29. So this is fun. There's some gold, some uh, Silver Age in here, but we have Kid Called Outlaw. A nice run of Kid Called Outlaw, one, 141. Well, not a run, but just a, a nice hodgepodge, 131. This is probably one of the more valuable ones, but this is uh, Kid Cult, um, 113. 
you know, and this is this is a 12 cent cover, so this is the I think this is an early 60s one, and uh, there's not a lot of these in you know mid grade condition like I'd say this one is. I think that's one of the more my more favorite of the, of the lot. Number 159, cool red cover. 180. It's got a, a, a monster on there. It's just a little different than the usual. Werewolf by Night, number 12, red to tatters. Daredevil losing its cover. Incredible Hulk, 314. Is that the Modoc? Is that his name? Random copy of the Avengers 226. Uh, new stand. I don't know what got on the bottom of that. So, you know. Uh, Masters of Kung Fu. Um, now we're getting kind of into the, the D. Well, never mind. Doctor Strange. Number 39. Captain Marvel, number three. Oh, spotlight on Captain Marvel. I didn't think I remember seeing that last night when I looked through these. Master of Kung Fu. Need some bags and boards on these. Um, I think I put all the DC in the other box. That one must have just showed up. Kazar the Savage. Fantastic Four, 281. I got a couple copies of that. Black Panther. Number 51, Marvel Premiere. And then we got some cat. We have a run of cat, like uh, 80s cat. This type of, you know, 338 era. These are actually bagged, which is kind. That one's not. This one was fun. This is a this is one of those like reprints. So this is Marvel Tales 29, and this is I can't remember what it's a reprint of, but there's a. Uh, just the Green Goblin, you know, five dollar book, it's still cool. Silver Age, Square Bound, Incredible Hulk, uh, King Size Animal number ten. Cool character there. Some spectacular Spider Man two of six. I haven't gone through any of these to do price checks at all yet. I haven't had time. Peter Parker number six. Get some Morbius the Vampire. There's the giant size X Men reprint. <laughs> you know, I'm looking through it, and that thing shows up, and for a minute, your heart stops. Uh, X Men 169. It's the first Callisto. 170. 172. I got 171 somewhere here. Annual 8 is also here. I took that for myself. Because, uh... oh, yeah, right. Yeah, that, this is actually, um, Bufo Laughs, I guess, number two, with this abysmal, um, I don't know what kind of coloring that is. It looks like airbrush, which I just can't stand that. Paragraphics. Um, but... I saw it like this, you know, which is the back of the book, which is, like, I guess, supposed to be a joke. I mean, it's supposed to be a joke. Obviously, it's an homage to Crime Suspense Stories 22, which I was lucky enough to own for a couple weeks at one point until I sold it. Um, but I, I just love the fact that it's Mickey Mouse holding Donald Duck's head in the Crime Suspense Story fashion. So I, I think I might keep that. Um, I also got Creatures on the Loose. These are not very valuable books, but I just love that era of Marvel. And then I got, you know, 171 there, which is the first Rogue joins the X-Men. Um, I only have one more X-Men I need to complete the run. It's like, I don't remember what the number is, but it's Wolverine with, in front of the Brood. And that will seal up my excellent man collection from 112 to, I think, 250 or something like that. Strange Tales, 185. Again, yeah, not very valuable, but just these are these are probably the ones I'm picking out to go in my personal collection. Love this one. Look at that cover. Worlds Unknown. Check that out. This monster in space. Dude wearing Speedo. I 
don't know what it was about. I, get, I think it was like their way of getting around costuming was just to throw a dude in a Speedo. Like the Submariner was an example of that. Great strategy, easy art, you know? So we got 170, 172, 171 was there, but that's mine. Keeps going, 174, um, 175, 185, sorry. Yeah, I don't really know if these in order. 190, I think it just kinda goes on. 192, there's a reprint. Um, speaking of the Submariner, Hulk, um, these are usually five bucks. I hang on to some of these sometimes. I don't really, something about that one doesn't really grab me. Issue of Thor 234. Master of Kung Fu 38. Probably just put, you know, they're like mid grade. No bag or board or nothing. I'll probably just throw them in a, in a lot for 20 bucks and get my money back, you know? Can make five bucks a book, right? That ain't bad. Marvel Tales 74. Sorry, I'm mumbling. Didn't really sleep much last night. Edgar Rice Burroughs, John Carter, Warlord of Mars, number five. Thanks for creating Tarzan and John Carter. Two books that modern people do not care about. Another Masters of Kung Fu. Nice little run of Masters of Kung Fu. A collection of. Another John Carter, number 12. Red Sonia, I think I have two copies of number seven. Is it seven? Here's 12. No, sorry. It's two copies of number 12. One bagged and one not. Power Man and Iron Fist. Daredevil 136. It's got the gesture on the cover there. Guardians of the Galaxy. Marvel Presents. This is the first team up with the Silver Surfer. With the Guardians. Nothing too drastic. But, you know, this is the third appearance of Deathlock. That's kind of cool. It's got this junk here that they used to put these stickers on top. And I don't understand, like, there's all these, um, like, variant collectors. And I can't figure out if that was by the manufacturer or, um, or the stores were putting them on. Because they look uniform every time I see them. And I'm always peeling them off, you know, because... I don't see these as, um, I don't see these people going after that, that variant. They want like the one that's actually printed on there. And you know, that, it, when you tear it off, by the way, which I have, and then you can see there's like this little, um, like, what do you call it? Oil, um, mark that the sticker leaves and it just completely screws up the book. So I don't know. I, I think this is going to wind up being like a variant in the future. Um, just off my gut. So here's Star Wars um, 56. Pretty pretty big characters on that cover. Conan the Barbarian. How much Conan Bar the Barbarian have I gotten lately? Right? The special. That's definitely um, Arnold's mug. And I mean, Cole the, Cole the Conqueror, he looks like the same guy. Like, why have two books? Were they really selling that well? The Age of Century, number five. Never heard of that one. That's, a, that's one of the more modern books in the run. Another Cole the Conqueror. Oh, I'm sorry, Cole the Destroyer. Monsters on the Prowl, number 16. That one might wind up being in my collection too. Grew number one, The Wanderer. Elf Quest number two. There's a big cult following for Elf Quest. Rom. Nobody really wants Rom. I don't know why. Weird, weird Wonder Tales, really jacked up copy. Look at that. These Marvel Bronze Age horror comics. They've grown on me. They've grown on me a lot. And every time I see them, I grab them. Um, Luke Cage, Power Man 42. I think I think this is close to the end of um, the solo title. 
Return of the Jedi number one. I thought for sure this was gonna be something big because of how much people like Star Wars comics right now. It's like a $5 book, I was really surprised. Bizarre Adventures. Have you ever seen this before? Like, have you ever picked this up? Because this is the second copy I've gotten in lots that I've bought in, in a row. I And I have no idea why. Uh, Luke Cage here for hire number seven. Uh, spy and roll, pretty bad. Um, None of these are really bagged and boarded. Doctor Strange, Master of the Mystic Arts. This is a Marvel Marvel premiere. It's got some nasty ink stuff going on there on the side. But again, I'll probably just group them up and send them out in a lot. Oh, there's the Spirit, Kitchen Sink, number seven. These are really nice. I love this one. The California Raisins 3D. This is Blackthorn Publishing. One of the worst publishers of all time from what I've heard. Don't know what that is. Paradax, I guess. Never heard of it. New one for me. Some more um, more indie titles. Ted McKeever's Transit. Never heard of that one. I know Ted, Ted McKeever. Mickey Mouse. Um, what is this? Oh, uh, this is another Bizarre Adventures, which... Number 34... I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. This is another one that I love, which I can't wait to read, but look at the the, the pissed off Kool-Aid dude on the cover. Is Scorch too hot to handle? Is this Scorch? Look at that. A, 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 a 75 cent value. So they had to, they had to establish how much this was worth to the beholder. Like, this ain't worth it. Look at the, <laughs> everybody's mad on this cover. Get out of here, Scorch. This is interesting. This is the Comics Journal, uh, a discussion between Gil Kane and Robert Crumb, and then uh, Harvey Picar on Mo uh, Mouse or Moss, Moss, Mouse, Mouse, Moss. Number one thirteen, um, the magazine of news and criticism. Um. This looks like it would be fun to kind of dive into and explore. Um, it's interesting. It's worth 20 bucks. Wouldn't have guessed. Mighty Mouse, number one. Spotlight Comics. Uh, Sunset Holmes. Another one. Never heard of that one. PC Vance. Or, I'm sorry, Vanity. Some of these indie titles, like, it, it just, like, that. I don't even have to say that. Some crow. <laughs> Amazing Heroes, 1985 preview issue. A couple Atlas. I got the Destroyer. This is my third copy, because I got two copies here of the Destroyer number two. Or the Destructor, sorry. Um, Wolf the Barbarian, more Atlas. Boy, Atlas was one of those. A little Comico, John, Johnny Quest. I've had a couple of those in my life. Journey, always see those in the dollar bin. Echo. Yeah. Nat Rat. Never heard of that one. Flamingo. I thought this one was cool. This was a Miracle Man 3D number one. The art inside of that is incredible, but there's no glasses, which is a little disappointing. The Masked Man number one. These Eclipse, I mean, these comics are just like, it's so like black and white boom. Vanity number two. I think Vanity number one was back there. Golden in 3D. Gold. Gold, golden, number one. Blackthorn. Thunder Tales. Frank, Frank Fazetta's classic jungle action comic. Finally pressed, or printed in a quality full cover. Yeah, so um, the rest of this box is just basically um, Silver Age, DC. Oh, that's actually an Atlas comic. So there's a couple Atlas here which are the Grim Ghost, which the three of these in a run is worth a couple of bucks.
$30. This is my second uh, copy of this I've ever had. Um, but yeah, there's more. Um, this is actually a really good book because of the fact that the dude is riding a motorcycle and it's in pretty decent shape. So that's a $30 book. Yeah. Nomad Baker. Um, I love this one. The, the little snowman. Hulk, and then we get some Dell. Um, Looney Tunes. You know, the usual, like, gun smoke. Um, and again, like, I don't usually get it. Like, yeah, that's usually what I get is this, like, the spine is falling off the book or the back of the book is missing. But some of the other stuff is actually in okay condition. Like, usually it's just, it just looks like it. somebody just, like, slept on it for a couple years. But these Gunsmoke ones are kind of cool. You know, 10 cents, and they're in really nice shape. And here's Cheyenne, a book I've never heard of before, but it's one of those photo covers. But that's that box. Um, I also got a Donald Duck pilots of a jet plane, and this is um, this is 1947. Yeah, 1947. That's fun. That's some golden age. Um, I got Pluto and I got Donald Duck here. These are like golden age mini comics. Um, Y'all know I, I, if you watch my channel, I just opened up the entire run of Conan the Barbarian. Um, 126, 86, 85, 84, 112, 95, just kind of a hodgepodge again, 102. So here's the interesting thing. I had the entire run of Conan. Um, the, the... Tragic ones were number one and 116 because I guess termites got to it. And in the next run I get, for the second time I've ever got Conan, I get 116 to go in the gap to fill the run. So that's awesome. So now I can sell, you know, 110 through 119 in a bulk lot and have the complete set. So I didn't even have to buy it. So that's a, it's like a $5 book, but I mean, you put them in a set of a run, like I got people who want to buy them, you know? People want to buy these magazines. 89, that's a duplicate. I think 90 is a key, but I didn't get it. 87, I think some of these might even be duplicates again. 128. 127. And these smell like dog too, which is really gross. Just these. Yuck. Anyway, this is fun. This is a Shazam giant comic. Um, it is really cool to see these blown up. It's not a super expensive book, but just a lot of fun couple First Kingdom books and a Tarzan in color. Um, I want to call it a treasury edition, but it's not really that. It's just a really nice blown up book of the of Tarzan. And um, there's a couple things um, like an Amazing Spider-Man collection, I guess. And then Laurel and Hardy Annual, Larry Harmon, Dick Tracy, the 30s, Tommy Guns and Hard Times, uh, Laurel and Hardy, Hardy Annual again, different, different book, I guess, and then another uh, Celebrated Cases of Dick Tracy, 1931 through 1951. I really dig Dick Tracy stuff. I like the I like the villains. Dan the Squealer. Like they always come up with these really fun. Steve the Tramp. Fun characters. So that's that. Um and then this has gone on for like 30 minutes, but um this box is DC for the most part, so minus the love comics over there. Uh, I just separated the superhero comics. This is a 60s foreign Superman comic. Um, it looks like it's a Golden Age story, just printed in, like, 1961. Tarzan, 100-page. 
I love 100 page giants. Uh, Teen Titans number eight in pretty decent shape. Dragged and boarded. World's Finest 167. These aren't super high dollar books, maybe $10, but still, it's, you know. Uh, Come on, D, the last boy on earth. I think these are Jack Kirby doing this one. Number 13. There's a run. OMAC and the uh, a one man army corps. Number six. OMAC. OMAC. Doom Patrol. These are goodies. Another one. Doom Patrol. Number one. OMAC. Four. These are cool. 25 cent covers. That's a nice, that's a cool cover with a magenta. Super Team, Family Giant. Haven't looked any of these up. I mean, they don't look like they're... Super Villains, number 12. Justice League, 130. Unknown Soldiers. Of course, you gotta get your DC War Comics, right? Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Now you got a cool collection of Wonder Woman. George Perez, Bob Leod. Uh, and then this is, a, this is a highlight. So Wonder Woman, 216, 100 page giant. Square bound book, not bad, you know, not perfect shape, but it's still fun. Sergeant Rock, uh, Batman 280. I think that's a new Lennox cover. Can't remember. New stand, nice book. Another Wonder Woman, uh, 237. Uh, Tom Strong's Terrific Tales, book two. Alan Moore, this is unsealed. It hasn't been opened. John Sable Freelance, first comics. Star Comics, Misty. I have two copies of this. Reed Fellman, Eclipse Comics. Well, it's Tough as Milkman. Uh, Batman, Wonder Woman, Brave and the Bold. Brave and the Bold, 139. Uh, the Fury of Firestorm, 130. Uh, 100 page giant of Shazam, right? Commodity, the last boy on earth. Don't know. Hardware. I've never heard of that one. Ambush Bug. Unknown Soldier. Super Team. Uh, Super Team Family. Number 8 T Rex cover there. This is the first uh, Captain Adam. Or this is the number one Captain Adam. It's like the redesign. That one's a couple bucks. Number 6. More Commandy. Last Boy on Earth. That one's fun. Um. Sla uh, the Flash. I almost said Slash. A little run of the Flash. Nothing. I don't think they're in order. So not a run, but just a hodgepodge. Uh, 336. 75. That one just fell apart. Whatever it was. 230. Coverless. Or cover detached. Man of War. S Sergeant Rock. 404. Sergeant Rock. 416. Unknown Soldier. Uh, Crisis on Infinite Earth. Number four. Batman, Brave and the Bold. 101. Superboy. 134. 12 cent cover. 15 cent cover. Our Fighting Forces. Some of these, like, I feel like if I put them in bags and boards, they really pop, make them look presentable. But some of these are pretty beat up. Number three, um, Superman 275. This is a really nice copy of Jimmy Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, number 51. I don't think, I think this is an early Silver Age because it's got the, the code. Plastic Man, number one. No, number 20, sorry. DC. Batman, Brave and the Bold, Dead Man, number 133. Sergeant Rock, 310. Shadow, 9. Shadow, number 9 again. Shadow's fun. Green Lantern, 150. I think that's something significant. Double sized issue. Wonder Woman, 263. Here's the annual, number two. People love Wonder Woman. So do I, really. Look at that cover. That's cool. Number six. 
Wonder Woman number two, The Legend of miniseries. Special fold-out cover, Wonder Woman number 10. Cool. There's Wonder Woman number one. That's pretty cool. I didn't even realize that was in here. Probably $10, but whatever. 271, House of Mystery. It's a nice run of um, DC Horror, which I, I love DC Horror. I always wind up selling it. I always say I want to keep it, and then I just sell it. 302, House of Mystery, 273. These are so rad. Look at that one, the spider. 265, red cover. I wonder if anybody ever actually won that superhero contest for Superman. We challenge you to read Ghosts. That's fun. The skeletons. That's really cool. Number 76. Number 90. Secrets of Haunted House, number 44. I mean, those, to me, are just amazing. This is a significant run of action comics. Like, I think it's like 40, maybe 30 bucks. 508. 571. 560. 537, five, oh, this is the Adventures of Superman, 524, Action, 586, Superman number one, I guess this is one of their million reboots that they did, 80s, uh, Action, 577, um, DC Comics Presents, 43, 29, 27, Superman 18 must be the reboot again. This is John Byrne's reboot. Gotcha. I, this is the third copy of that I've ever owned. World of Krypton, Su Adventures of Superman, World of Krypton number one, World of Krypton number two. Um, something significant about that book, I can't remember. 587. I think this is the second copy of this I've owned, 589. I don't know whoever paid eight dollars for it, but maybe it's worth money. I don't know. Really cool. Whoa, huh? That's a fun version of Superman with the the purple and the the green energy. Chemo is back with Superman's powers. That's amazing. Five ninety. Might keep that one. Five ninety seven. Five ninety nine. Second copy of this I've ever owned, 584. I don't know why we need this in a Mylar. I think there's something significant about that book. I can't remember. 581. 580. God, this goes on forever. 579. That's what, and that's what the audience is saying right now. 577. Just, I mean, how? 576, 575. I think there's two copies of. I don't hate Superman. Like, don't get me wrong, but I mean. 575 again. I just don't. Is there three copies of 575? No, there's two. Okay. God. 573. Batman 512. Batman 512 again. Uh, good run of Brave and the Bold. Or good hodgepodge of Brave and the Bold. There's another one. 172. 162. I don't even know what number that is. Cool cover, though. Almost to the end, folks. Secret Origins, The Golden Age of Superman. That's fun, number one. Justice League, number six. Four Star Spectacular, number one. I don't recognize that one. Uh, Secret Origins of Superheroes. These aren't numbered. It's odd. Maybe they're just one-shots. Um, All Star Squadron, number three. Justice League, 227. Justice League, 216. Justice League, 223. Legion of Superheroes, number 325. Tales of Teen Titans, 66. Uh, the New Teen Titans, number 13. Number 15. I'm going to get all the way through this. Wally Woods Trash by the Flash, number 15. Dead World. Uh, Femforce, number one. 
Superboy number 41. Adventure Comics 478. Black Hood number three. Almost there. Hex 15. The Man Behind the Gun number nine. And finally, this is Wild Dog. Folks, there you have it. A 400 comic lot I purchased for $250, which puts us at about 62 cents a book. I'll keep some of these, probably sell a lot of them. If you wanna check out my eBay store, I'll put that in the link. If you see anything you want here, feel free to message me. One of the nice things about buying off YouTube is direct messages. I don't have to pay for a bunch of seller fees. So you can have probably more for less. Thank you so much for watching. Like, follow, subscribe if you hung in with us that far. And um, yeah, thanks a lot.